as we look at lesson 210, good news, you guys like doing proportions, right? Yeah. What's the bad news? Please tell me the bad news. I'm not sure there is bad news. I mean, it's nah. it's setting up. A, I think you'll like this today because there is a definite like process. Okay? And I think, you know, there's a definite process, and that's the type that makes it easier for you guys. So I think you'll like it. You okay. Know, for the homework, I just have this last problem I'm having a problem with. Okay. And we can try and look here at the end. So, percent of change. I think we have, what, four examples? Yeah. You guys follow along. Help me along, right? You, do the answers. you got your notes. You got a calculator. You got a pencil. I'm not drawing on your calculator. If you look over here, I'm doing this. I'm erasing. Okay. Calculator. So, percent change. When we look at percent change, we are looking at how we express an amount of change as a percent of an as an original amount. So, percent of change. How much did something change in comparison to the original? Uh, okay. So, did it go up and increase? Did it go down and decrease? And how much did it change? Now, the best setup, I think, for you guys is going to be this proportion. Okay, we'll use the same proportion every time. Notice, does percent over 100 look familiar? Yeah. Maybe not to Robbie, you weren't here yesterday, but we did the percent proportion yesterday and we had percent over 100 on the right, didn't we? Yeah. That part's still the same. Okay. The bottom left yesterday was the base, or it followed the word. X. No, followed the word of. Oh, yeah. Today, my bottom left is the original amount. How much did my amount start at? And then, this is the part we'll have to be careful of, the top is the amount of increase or decrease. So in order to get the amount of increase or decrease, you will have to subtract the two amounts. Okay? So right there, in order to find out the increase or decrease, you'll have to subtract the two amounts. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's look at problem one. Tell whether each percent is an increase or a decrease, and then find the percent of change and round it. So first of all, if the original amount was 19 and the new amount is 30. So original was 19, new was 30. Hey, smart. Is that an increase or a decrease? I heard mixed answers. If you start at 19 and you go to 30, what's happening? Increase. You are increasing. So right there is half your answer. Okay? Just look at what they give you and what happens. If it starts at 19 and it goes to a new amount 30, 19 to 30 is going up. So that is an increase. That part's easy, right? Yeah. As long as we don't make silly mistakes. Yeah, like. Okay. So 60 would be increased and then that's what Now, increased. proportion. Okay, I'm setting up a blank proportion for you. What's going to be on the bottom right? 100. 100, yes? Now, what are we being asked to find? The, the percent. Most likely, I'm not going to say you will be asked to find the percent every time, but most likely you'll be asked to find the percent every time. If you're being asked to find the percent, what's going to go above 100? X. Because I'm being asked to find the percent, so it's percent over 100, so X over 100. Okay? Bottom left is the original amount. What did your item start at? What did we start at here? 19. Why does that go to the bottom? Because original amount 
goes on the bottom. That's what we're comparing it to. So the new amount is 30s. Now, okay, look at your setup. What's it say goes on top? The, the amount of increase or decrease. So how do you find the amount that goes on top? Uh, you subtract the two. So to know what goes on top, we're going to have to subtract the two. So what numbers am I subtracting? 19 and 30, which is 11. So 30 minus 19. And just do bigger minus smaller. So it's 11. Okay? So you always get positive. And that's 11. So my setup, 11 over 19 equals X over 100. What do I do? Cross products. Oh, yeah. Now I figured it out now. I already know what the answer is. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Maybe. You haven't even done your cross products yet. You no. can't know what the answer is yet. I got you. I got you okay. the answer. Okay. Let's go through this. Everyone's got to remember. I don't know if everyone remembers. Robbie wasn't here. we got to help him catch up. Okay. Cross products. So cross products. One set of cross products is... 19 uh, yeah. times x. Yeah. So you're multiplying your diagonals. What's my other set of cross products? 11 times. So we're going to say 19 times x equals 11 times 100. 19x, 19 times x is 19 times x. What's 11 times 100? 1100. 1100. But now you divide by 19, which... If it's 19, 19 times x. And then that gives you... Divide by 19. So it's x equals 57.8, I believe. 50 in your round, wouldn't you? Because it, it gives me 57.8947. Yeah, you round the Okay, so some you get 57.894 something. Yeah. Now, go back and read the directions. Nearest percent. Rounds in nearest percent. So rounds in nearest percent is a whole number. What does the 8, 58, 57.8, what does that 8 tells that 7 to do? Go away. Go up. And so 57 goes up to become? 58. 58. 58 what? Percent. So this is a 58% increase. Okay. All together. 58% increase. Okay, what do we think? Okay, that's okay. It's just... It's not bad. Was it right? as bad as... I didn't think... I thought it was going to be bad. Nah. A little bit. But okay. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Now this next one, it says the original amount was 16. So that's going to be 16 over... No, wait a second. Okay, pause. Pause. First thing I want to know. Is this going to be a percent of increase or a percent of decrease? Decrease. Well, which? You just told me both. Increase. What do you guys think, class? If we start at 16 and the new amount is 11, so this is a? Decrease. Decrease. Okay, when I call you guys on you guys, you're going to help me fill this in, yes? Okay, there's David's answer. 100 goes on the bottom, 
I usually put on the bottom right. And then X goes above. You're supposed to pause. I'm sorry. We're looking for the percent. So X goes over. All these are going to be X over 100, yes? Yeah. Okay. Halen, what goes over here on the bottom left? 16 because it is the original. Okay. Good. You want to tell me what goes on the top two? Five. Why five, Rylan? <laughs> huh? Because we subtract the two, yes? Yeah. It's so. the amount of increase or decrease. So you subtract the two. 16 minus 11 is five. No, it's... No. Wait, after... After you get your answer, you can multiply that by that bottom number that, that like would go with x, and you get what you get when you multiply by two. Okay. Okay, I kind of lost what you were saying there, but so like okay. you could, five times a hundred is five hundred, right? Mm -hmm. The answer, right, would be the same as sixteen times whatever the answer is. It's yeah, because it's cross products. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what are my cross products here? Jacob, what are my cross products here? Um, I don't know, 16, times x. 16 times x, and what's the other set? 5 times, five times 100. Five. Well, 16 times x is 16x. I'll take this one. 5 times 100 is? 500. 500. Robbie, if it's 16 times x equals 500, how do I solve for x? Yes, you do. You've been. This is not something we just learned. If it's 16 times x, and Robbie, what is the opposite of multiplying 16 and x? Divide. See, you know it. We're going to divide by 16. Okay, are you with me? Are you writing this down, Robbie? Yeah, no. Do you need to move closer so you can see? No, okay. 16's cancel. I don't know. The calculator's going to tell me what 500 divided by 16 is, right? Yeah, it gives me 31.25. Okay. 31.25? But you're not done. Percent. percent. Well, but the direction says round to the nearest, nearest percent. So, so. 30. No? 35. What's a 2 tell? 32. Okay, stop. What's a 2 tell the 1 to do? Stay or go up? Go up. Number 2 is a number below 5, so it tells it to stay. So we're going to stay at 31%. When you have 31.25, your options are to stay at 31% or go up to 32 because that next number was below 5, it told me to stay. So all in all, this is a 31% what? Decrease. Told you this one's doable today, right? Yeah, but this is a cheap one. This is hurting my brain. Yeah, <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, it is. Okay. Listen. Tell whether each percent change is an increase or decrease. Find the percent change. Round to the nearest percent. Now, there's more words this time, but it's not even a word problem, guys. This is saying going from a price of $4,023.52 to a price of $982.13. Is this an increase or a decrease? Decrease. Okay. Is that definitely a decrease to you guys? As we go from 4,000 something to 900 something, that is a decrease, right? My values went down. Okay. Oh, you're going to do that. This is going to be 100 eggs. 
100. Bottom right is 100. We're trying to find the percent. So we put X over it. And then your from goes on the bottom, and then your 980, 982.30 goes on the bottom. That was the opposite way. Nope. I can go this class. Okay. So if you go back, look at the top. What goes on bottom is the, what's the word? Original. What's my original amount here? 4,000. The 4,000. That's what I said, though. Okay, but you never gave just that. You gave other answers along with it. Oh, boy, that's yeah, true. Okay. The original, the from, as David said it, the original $4,023.52, that is your bottom. Because that's, our, that's where it started. Now, what's it say to put on top? Go back to your original setup. And it says we have to subtract them. So subtract bigger minus smaller. Lily, do you have this amount? What they subtract to be. Right? Yeah. 3,041, 39. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do that. Okay. Jason, you with me here? I'm going to go with a no. Okay, guys. Robbie, have you caught on? What do we do here? We're doing. Cross products, right? Cross products here. Multiply those diagonals. So $4,023.52 times X. The other one, 3,041.39 times 100. So. 4023.52x equals 304139. After you multiply, we're going to divide. divide. So we're going to divide by 4023.52. I'm going to divide the other side by 4023.52. And my calculator is definitely doing that math for me, right? Um, yes, hold on. Yes, it's a 75. Seventy five point five nine zero two is what I have written written in my notes. Yeah, Are we going whole percent again? Yeah. So rounded to nearest percent. Yeah, what's this five? Tell this five to do. Go up. Go up. And so this is seventy six percent decrease. Okay. The last one, we get into a little bit of a word problem. But have confidence in what you're doing. A used car dealership buys a car for $2,800 and sells it for $4,500. What is the percent change? Um, what is the original amount? Correct. So my original is 2,800. 
my new amount then is 4,500 is what I'm looking there. You're a step ahead of me. Is this an increase or a decrease? Decrease. Yeah. They definitely increased the price, didn't they? So this is an increase. We got our setup. Jacob, you got your setup? Well, can you tell me about the setup, Jacob? Oh, 100x. David, your name is not Jacob. I'm trying to get a variety of people here. I'm trying to keep you guys involved. What do you got for me, Jacob? 2,800 on, 2, on the bottom left. Okay, the original bottom left. Good. On the top, uh, 4, top right. No? No. Top right. No. 4,500 doesn't go on here at all. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, because what do we do to find this top number? We have to take the two numbers and subtract. Halen, I think you had this number, didn't you? What did you have? 1,700? Where did she get that 1,700 from? She subtracted. She did 4,500 minus 2,800. And that's, I'll, I'm, you know, Jacob made the mistake, so I'm going to pick on him. That's going to be the easy mistake for all of us to make. Okay, that is the oh so when you walk away from this and you go back to start working out again tomorrow or something, that's gonna be the place you're the place you're gonna forget. Okay, that is the key piece right there. Bottom right is always a hundred, and we're trying to find the percent, so we're trying to find x. Okay, did you guys get an answer? Do you guys agree with his answer? Yeah, blah, 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 yeah, I agree with that answer. Not the blah, blah, blah part. Yeah, I agree with that answer, though. Okay. If you haven't done this, do this, guys. Cross products, 2,800 times X, and 1,700 times 100. 2,800 times X is going to be 2,800 X. 1,700 times 100 is going to be 17 with four zeros. 170,000. Divide by the 2,800. I don't remember what Rylan said at this point. 1647. Okay. It doesn't say to round up, but I Go with what we've been doing all the rest of the day, right? Yeah. We've been going to the nearest whole percent. So this is 60. The 7 is going to tell the 60 to go up to 61%. And this is a 61% increase. Okay. You have a little bit of work time. Use it. Do you want us to turn these in? Yeah, do you want us to turn these in? Less than 2.10. Math Excel. I want you to hold on to your notes, A, to help you with homework, and then we're going to start talking review tomorrow, and I want you to have your notes to help you with the review worksheet. Yes? Yeah. So I want you to hold on to your notes.